How are we? Are we well? Are we good? So good. Yeah, yeah, we're You've good. You've come on a good night. A lot of five seconds of summer fans here. We're all having a great time. Not a lot of intersection between them and Grace and Frankie fans. I don't know. I think they're really. Be, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They're a big band. They're a popular band, okay. and they'll get there one day. Mm -hmm. For yes, sure. Yes, they will age into it. What was your? What was the? What was the band for you when you were growing up? Oh man. Well, I was a crazy New Kids on the Block fan. <laughs> Do not be. And yeah. There was no other option at that time. Um, and I was a fan of them before they became NKOTB. Yes. So that's how I define yeah. myself. You're back, you're talking the right stuff days. It, it, that's correct. Hanging before tough. the rebrand. Please don't um, go girl. <laughs> that's right. All and the hits. All of my girlfriends were into Joey yes. and Jordan. Oh, Jordan. Oh. Dreamy, dreamy guys. <laughs> I liked Jonathan. Did you? Yes. And I why went, did you pick Jonathan? You know, I think I thought I could have a shot with him. Right. <laughs> I get it. You know what I, I mean? I get it. Ed, what about you? What were you into when you were younger? What was the first record in uh, Ed Helms' collection? I got a... My, my sister gave me my first... It was a 45 vinyl record that I played on my Fisher Price record player. Yes. And it was the single of Queen's Another One Bites the Dust. Oh, what a tune. And I... <laughs> Picture. Incredible yeah. song, uh, unless unless you're eight, and then it's I, I it's a great song. I loved it when I was eight. Yeah, but it's not age appropriate. No, you're, when you actually and, start to yeah, deconstruct yeah, the lyrics, it, you really realize what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah, mm. well, although there's a lot of it's about a lot of murder and, yeah. and stuff. Mm. So as eight, an eight-year-old uh, running around the house and screaming that song didn't go over well. I'm sure it didn't. <laughs> and because uh, my parents, of course, were clueless and they were like, we don't know what Queen is. We just know that our eight-year-old is screaming about people biting the dust. Yes. <laughs> and then the B-side of that single is a little-known Queen song called Don't Try Suicide, which sounds good, but the actual chorus is Don't Try Suicide, Nobody Would Care. Wow. And so I'm also running around the house singing that. Wow. And... I love the idea of your parents going, right, let's just get rid of that and just get him another song by Queen. And they yeah. get it and it goes, Mama <laughs> just killed a man. Yeah. And they're like, what the hell? <laughs> now, you both, you go way back. You, you first met in New York when you were starting out in comedy. Let's figure this out because we've known each other a long time. But Too I, long. I think I've known your husband longer. Yes. And, and I, but, and I want to say like, 20 years almost? Like, wow. A long time. Well, then that would mean that you may have known each other about 10 because Paul was here recently. We've got a photo of him here. We love him very much here at the Late Late Show. Here you are both oh. here. And you're Aww. about to celebrate your 10th anniversary. That's correct. Now, <laughs> which is a real achievement. Yeah. A real achievement. But you, uh, you dated for like six years we before you for... get married. Yes. Ed was at our wedding. Yeah. And, um... We're friends. We are! <laughs> Why won't you let us be friends? <laughs> Please! Um, but at, at... At my shower, at my bridal shower, Paul, had been t Paul and I had been together for a while, and we played a game, a newlywed game, where I had to answer all these questions that Paul had already pre-answered... Right. ...for his mom and stepmom and grandmother and all of his nearest and dearest women. And so they were peppering me with questions that were pretty basic. Like what? What sort of Just thing are we talking like, about? Like, what's his favorite food? I got nothing. <laughs> and you've I been with nothing. him for six Wait, years. Correct. Is he panicking or, or just. Ed, Ed <laughs> helps. Didn't know. <laughs> I. I know everything about him. I know... But you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I know the important stuff. Do right. I know the trivia? Absolutely not, turns no. out. I mean, Ed, you were at the I wedding. Could you sense any <laughs> awkwardness when you were there? Because doing this in front of his mother is oh, not it's fun. Oh, terrible. Yeah. I mean, the room turned on me pretty Honestly, quickly. that wedding was ice cold. Yeah, that's what everybody <laughs> said, Listen, actually. It's <laughs> really <laughs> hard to open up very expensive gifts after. That's yes, <laughs> it is. No, no. It is. That was People one of the... were not happy with can I get? Can I tell a fun detail about yes, your wedding? Please. It was such a fun wedding, and uh, I, I remember Paul introduced uh, his one of his good friends that he'd recently been working with that was going to give a toast, oh God. and it was Jack Nicholson. <laughs> and, oh. and everyone was like, oh, my God, Jack Nicholson's coming in. He comes in, and he starts to give this toast, and then everyone's like, 
I don't think that's Jack Nichols. It turns out it was an impersonator. Correct. And it was wow. the most hilarious so move. He wow. He couldn't decide which of his friends, all of whom you know very well, to make his best man. So he just didn't want to choose anyone. So we hired this Jack Nichols impersonator. <laughs> the craziest detail. I don't, know, I don't even know if you know this, Ed, but he was supposed to arrive at, I want to say, 7. Right. And oh, he got that. there at 4 p.m. No explanation, just like, I'm here, I'm ready. Super and we professional. Were like, oh, that's Jack, though. Jack. That is. That's <laughs> Jack. That's part of the impression. That's Jack. He yeah. he finds out how early does Jack arrive on set, and I'm going to be there when I do it. But he started drinking upon arrival. <laughs> but that's Jack, though. That's also Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So we had written him. Paul and I spent a lot of time writing him his toast. And, and he comes out, and I see he has the speech that we've written for him, and it gets crumbled up immediately. And I oh, no. thought, uh-oh, we're, we're in for something. And he swaggers over to the table, I don't know if you remember this, Ed, and turns to me and just says, yummy, yummy. <laughs> but that's Jack, though! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs>